Hello and welcome to the first in our series of devotions as we reflect on what it means to choose Jesus in times of emptying. Today is Monday the 1st of March. As we begin, let us still ourselves in a moment of quiet before God. and our prayer for this week. Almighty God, you see that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversaries which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading today is Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 11. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you once followed when you were living that life. But now... You must get rid of such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices, and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Jew and Greek, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free. But Christ is all and in all. Choosing Christ involves thinking about divine things. Thinking about divine things over and above earthly things. Paul exhorts, urges the church at Colossae, to set their minds on things above where Christ is, to have Jesus as their central vision, to not set their minds on things on earth. Why does he say this? Well, if you focus too much on earth, you end up focusing a lot on things that are about death, things that will pass, things that are temporal, things that are not eternal. But the thing is, We've already died. We've already been uh, made alive in Christ. So, as believers in Christ, if we live with our minds solely on earth, we'll become depressed, demotivated and disheartened. And it's so important to have a mind that's been renewed by the Spirit, full of the truth of who God says we are. Not just the general sense of being children of God, but also who God has told us we are personally. How does that work? The best way that I have discovered this is through the gift of prophecy. If people have given you prophetic words, God has told you who he thinks you are and how he sees you. Now, if you've never received a prophetic word from God, then call me up and we'll remedy that immediately. If we're not thinking heavenly things about ourselves, or the world, then we're simply thinking earthly. And that is simple as that. But Paul seems to suggest here that we need to have a renewed mind. He doesn't say, sorry, Paul says, don't follow the early customs that you used to be, like when you weren't Christians, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And he says that in Romans 12. And we can renew our minds by quoting the truth of who we are over ourselves every day. The truth of who God is to us every day. 
God says, I'm one with him. I'm forgiven. I'm adopted as a child of God. I'm loved and blessed with every uh, spiritual blessing. I'm a new creature in Christ. And as we quote the truth of ourselves uh, over, over ourselves in the, you know, in the day, our mind begins to come into agreement and alignment with the truth of who we really are. So while the pandemic has meant more time at home, Perhaps God has wanted to use that time and wants to use the remainder of time we have because we have a few more months. Perhaps God wants to use this time to learn the way he thinks of us, to learn the way he views the world. So choosing Christ for us then means learning to think the way God thinks about us and about the world. We'll spend a few moments thinking about these things for ourselves. How do you think? With divine purpose or earthly ideas? How difficult do you find it to come into agreement with the way God sees you as his beloved child? What might you do to think more with God's purposes in mind? Take a moment to reflect on your thought life. Give it to God and ask him to tell you who you really are and how he sees you.
and our Lenten blessing for this week. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>